It's guilt. the meal that weighs over <laughs> one and a half kilograms, Carl, and once consumed, it would take eight hours of running to burn off. Whoa. It is the creation of a Gold Coast eatery, and we sent along today's Mike Dalton to taste test the hamburger known as the Fat Bastard. Beneath the shadow of the Gold Coast's Q1 is the open-air eatery that is Longboards. It's a casual kind of burger bar in a coasty kind of way. Casual, except for the king of its burger menu. He is the Tyrannosaurus Rex of burgers. The $32, 1.6 kilogram, lock your ears kids, fat. <laughs> Chef Lawrence Bowers is Dr. Frankenberger. Chef, you're creating wonders here. I know, it's a bit extreme, it's like it's an epic meal. So was the plan to permanently block up the elementary canal of your customers? Yeah. Some. <laughs> Lawrence starts with 900 grams of Wagyu beef. Yeah, do you make that yourself? This is our normal burger patty and I just combined about six patties. As you would. There are eight rashes of interlocked bacon. You're not frying that bacon? No, it's just slow cook it in the, because uh, it's all weave, so once the, the temperature in there is pretty uh, hot. Did, oh, did you just say woven bacon? Yeah. <laughs> Onion rings are part of the burger's strata. He's an undervalued member of the fast food family, the onion ring, mate. I'm glad to see that you're giving him a place. Give him a place. And a place is found for 200 grams of pool pork topping. It just melts in your mouth, don't have to chew. Yeah, yeah. It's just oh, I think not having to chew would be an asset when it comes to consuming the fat <laughs> actually. That is right. So, Lawrence, you're actually searing the, the bun here because it needs structural reinforcement. Yeah, it needs structural reinforcement because uh, otherwise, uh, you know, the sauce and the patty, it, it could collapse. Probably one of the few burgers that requires Rio. Yeah. <laughs> it's sort of something looks like it comes out of your arteries, so that's why we did it. So you're just popping it back into the arteries, yeah, really, aren't you? Yeah, you know, we're just doing the person a favour. Mate, hey, what's hi. this business? Oh, you know, you got a bit of, oh, we'll just say colour. Mate, <laughs> did you hear that? What's that? That was my cholesterol level just hey. clicking up. <laughs> and voila. Oh, voila, indeed. The burger has only been on the menu for the last few weeks, says manager Patrick Hanrahan. We've had one guy complete it since, and he wasn't the biggest guy that we've had, so, I mean, I think it's open to anyone to, you just need the determination to get through it. Okay. Um, which cemetery is he in? <laughs> but then the bell toll, as it does when the burger makes an appearance, and like Hemingway, it was my turn to deal with the fat. I had a strategy. Treat it like a cake and break it into slices. Mate, my chips. But it would be the fat that would break me instead. One, two, three. One, two, three. Time to go. Let's go. It's always next year. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is behind us, Lisa. Oh, dear. It's just magnificent. What was it? Longboards Cafe on the Gold Coast? Yeah, the goalie. How about the pork wow. crackling on it? Oh. And who knew you could weave bacon? Like... Bloody amazing. Bring you to tears, wouldn't it? <laughs> Look at that thing. It's, oh, it's very frightening. Struggling to concentrate. <laughs> we haven't seen dolts again. Anyway, no, no, not to worry. No. Look at the drips coming so off in I some know, the drips of fat. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That thing completes me, Fordo. <laughs> Thank God they've got the lettuce.